Hi, this is Wes, product specialist with Collier RV out of Rockford, Illinois. Today we're going to take a look at one of the units in my showroom. It's actually one of my favorite mid-sized travel trailers for those of you that don't have little rugrats coming with you all the time and don't need bunks. This is the MPG 2780RE. As we usually do, we'll start at the front of the unit, walk around the outside real quick, point out some of the features, and then we'll take a look at the inside. So at the front, you get a power tongue jack, makes it a little bit easier when you're hitching up. Behind that, dual propane tanks, 20 pound. The MPG does have a molded fiberglass front cap with LED accent lighting, so super tough. Gonna last you the uh, entire lifetime of the unit, that's for sure. Come around the side, and we get to one of my favorite features on this unit, and it is an MPG exclusive. They have underbelly storage. There is actually a drawer underneath there, and I will pull it out for you. Little magnetic holder. This is a painted steel drawer. Tools, camping equipment, hiking stuff, whatever you want to bring with you. Uh, it gives you a little bit of additional storage that you won't find on any other travel trailer brand out there, and it's fantastic. I love it. Just below that, you'll see a little switch, and that switch is for your power stabilizer jacks, which are at all four corners. No more hand cranking them down or remembering to bring your cordless drill with the right bit on it. Just press a button. Again, something I truly love. <laughs> You do have tinted windows all the way around and they all open. Huge 18 foot awning with LED strip light underneath. And then another feature that is um, something that most other travel trailers don't have. This is a 30 inch entry door. Most trailers out there are either 26 or 28 inch and you're bringing groceries or camping supplies or you're loading up at home and you got to kind of shimmy through the door. Uh, this makes it a little bit easier. Just next to the door, you'll see a little sticker on there that says three year. This does have a three year limited structural warranty. A lot of the stuff out there is a single year. So it does give you a little bit of peace of mind. The outside walls on this unit are a high-grade fiberglass, uh, fiberglass uh, gloss gel coat, and it is bonded to Asdale. Uh, so this is not bonded to Luon, it's not bonded to wood, it's bonded to Asdale. A little bit longer lasting, uh, and the thing that I like best about it is it's lighter weight, stronger, uh, and it's quieter. So you've got some neighbors at the campground that are up late, partying it up, having a great time, and you're trying to go to sleep because you're getting up early in the morning to go fishing or whatever the case may be. Uh, that'll help you keep the noise level down. We'll walk around towards the back. You'll see the other switch for the stabilizer jack back here. And just to the side of it is a little leash latch. You can clip Fido's leash to that. Uh, chain up uh, a bicycle, uh, whatever you'd like to use it for. It's just a, a nice little feature to have. You got your kind of standard spare tire hanging off the steel rear bumper. This unit is pre-wired for backup camera. You can see at the top of the wall there. As we go around to the other side, another thing that I wanted to point out is that when I say that this is a fiberglass fully laminated trailer, uh, it is fully laminated. So these sidewalls, even on the side of the slide outs, are built exactly the same as all of your main walls. Around towards the front on the off camping side, you'll find uh, kind of the standard connections that you'll find on, on most travel trailers in this uh, size class. Um, so this is where you would fill up your fresh tank. This is a city water connection. You have a quick connect spray port, which gives you access to fresh water. You spray off the boots, wash the dog, uh, get the mud off the bicycle, whatever the case may be. 
That's the outlet for your furnace. You have a detachable shore power cord. That would be your water heater. A little bit further up the trailer, you will have both cable and satellite inputs. And below that is a black tank flush, another fantastic feature to have. So your black tank is where your toilet goes, and sometimes it could get, eh, we'll say gunk uh, inside of it. Um, and people have come up with all kinds of inventive ways to try and get that cleaned out. Um, this makes it a lot easier. So you hook up a regular garden hose to this, and there's little sprayers inside the black tank that will flush it out for you. Further up the front, this is the other side of your huge pass-through storage. And right next to it, you will see a little solar port. So you can plug in a little suitcase solar panel, put it out in the sunshine, and it will charge your battery without being plugged into anything else. Why don't we take a quick look at the inside? So coming right inside the door, the first thing that you're going to notice is your convenience center. Uh, you of course will have all the usual buttons for uh, checking the levels on your battery and your tanks, um, some uh, main, main light switches, uh, water heater, um, and then of course your buttons for your slide out and your awning. Next to that you have a battery disconnect switch. This does physically disconnect your battery from the coach. So if you're going to store it, you can just pull that out and your battery is completely disconnected. No need to get up there and actually disconnect it. Up in the kitchen area you have uh, seamless countertops, a farmhouse style, huge sink, your classic three burner stove, I do love the blue lights though, I think they look pretty cool. As many drawers and cabinets as they can fit in here. And I mentioned the countertop. Another thing that this trailer does that I, that I really love is they give you a little peninsula over here. It's all one piece, but it gives you that extra countertop space that's lacking in a lot of the products that are out there right now. So this is a fantastic feature um, that I, I wish more manufacturers would do, that's, that's for sure. All of your cabinet fronts and drawer fronts are real hardwood. And if you look inside of them, they all have hidden European style hinges, super high quality, adjustable, much better than some of the run of the mill stuff that is out there. Going over into the living area, this is my favorite space inside of this trailer. You have a three person sofa, high quality residential fabric across from it. You will have dual recliners, again, that high quality fabric with a nice table that moves and can be removed easily. And another little thing that MPG did that uh, I wish I would have thought of um, is you have a little cubby hole over here and inside of it is a USB outlet. Actually, there's two of them. Um, so you can set your phone over here, a tablet, whatever you, you might like, uh, and it can be charging for you. Uh, I know nowadays people like to have their phones as close to them as possible and, and also need to keep them charged. So this is a 2780RE. RE stands for Rear Entertainment. And as is the case with most Rear Entertainment, your entertainment is on the rear wall. And in this case, it does come straight from the factory with a high quality sound bar and a TV already attached. That TV is on a large swing arm, so you can pull it out and face it in either direction, whatever you may like. Some nice undermount lighting, a little bit of storage on either side below the windows, and then a little furnace uh, that is an electric furnace. It puts a nice warm glow of light uh, over the floor that looks nice, and it has a built-in electric heater. Now, a couple of things towards the front of this unit. And I saved it for last because uh, this is, again, something that you don't find in a lot of, a lot of travel trailers nowadays. First would be the walkthrough bath, which gives you an eight foot wide bathroom in a mid-sized travel trailer. This is something that you would typically find in a much larger travel trailer. Huge shower, skylight, exhaust fan, um, and then over on the other side, because it is the full width of the travel trailer, You'll have a little bit of countertop space on either side of your sink, some storage behind that door, a medicine cabinet, 
and a couple of extra little cubby holes to throw some odds and ends. If you look inside the bedroom, there's another thing that MPG does with all of their trailers from the smallest to the largest is they give you a king size bed. And this is a true residential king. Um, and if you look around just the corner over there, they do another cool thing in here is they give you a vanity and some extra storage, which I really love. This unit also happens to have dual air conditioners. So there's another air conditioner here in the bedroom and you can change the temperature independently in here from out in the main living area. So if you like to sleep a little bit cooler at night, uh, like me and my wife do when we're out camping, or if you wanna be a little bit warmer in here, you can have it whatever temperature you want in two different zones. By the way, when you look at this king bed right now, it's up against this wall. And some people may be asking themselves, okay, well, how do I get in and out of that bed? How did you make this bed um, when it's right up against this wall? That's another thing that MPG does with their trailers that have a king bed. This bed actually slides back and forth. Right now I have it slid over towards that wall so that we could take a look at the vanity on that side. Uh, but you can slide it over the other way too. And that is your MPG 2780RE. Give us a call here at Collier RV. I'd love to give you some more details and take a look at this unit in person. Thank you.